thing we want to do is get our numbers. We're going to call it at 230. All right. We're going to call it 230 is the same. Both. When we're here, we want to go ahead and open up the hose drain. All right. By opening the hose drain, you're doing two things. It's getting ready to take that cap off so we can hook up and perch. And it also lets you know if one of the valves is open. If one of the valves open, you will hear. You know? So you want to make sure it's closed and all that before you do anything. So gas only means it's top. Liquid is bottom. That's how you can tell. When you go somewhere and you don't have something more. You know, there's two ways to figure out. One of the ways is the bottom is always gonna be hooked up to your regulator, which is this one right here. So you follow your piping, if you see the regulator, that's your bottom. If you don't have a regulator, it's your top. And if you're on the chair, you open up these and open one of the other one, if this gas is top, if this liquid is bottom. Okay, that's how you know. Because you will go to some places where the tank has fallen off or something, and you're like, which one? And then you go to places where instead of top and bottom, we'll say liquid or gas. Again, gas is top, liquid is bottom. All right. Let me take that off. Close the roll valve, okay? We don't open anything until we're hooked to the customer. We don't touch anything except that hose, that, that roll valve. Okay. only at this time when we do that we're gonna open you fire block just in the back you pump inlet your recirculator and you discharge so we can start pushing the line you want to open up wait till you stop Drop, drop the airbag. Now we open up the recirculator and the discharge valve. Recirculator. That allows the pump to start getting gas and then liquid. And if that thing's open, it'll throw back into the trailer. But we also want to cool these and purge it. So we can go ahead and open the diesel. Okay. Awesome.
Because the process that we do, it's going to let us know when the pump is pulled down, right? On this particular case, we're going to deliver by weight, so we don't need to snap a picture of the meter or anything. But we still need the meter on to make everything work and to let us know when the pump is full and we're ready to go. So at this point, it, uh, some perch, and I'm going to go ahead and get my towel and scan the barcode real quick. Now we're getting some uh, gas out there. Yeah. Get a look, is everything frosted up? When it's all frosted up, we can go ahead and close that. It doesn't mean we can start. We wait on the meter. Okay, now we got liquid. So we're going to go ahead and close that. And again, I don't want to trap myself, like close this and walk over there. But yeah, it don't matter. These poles don't got this. Now I got gas, I got liquid in there, so I want to find a place for it to, to go. Otherwise, we're going to start popping safeties. So I'm going to go ahead and set up on the tank, get them ready to start. Bottom, all the way, right? And then the top, only about a couple of turns. So we're gonna maintain the pressure at 35. So I do the same on this. Nothing's going anywhere right now. I've got that closed. I got everything ready to go, but nothing's going anywhere. See right here? It's minus 37. It's got to go to like minus 130, I believe. So when it gets there, we'll be ready to start. So all we do right now is cool it down. All right, what I'm on, what I'm gonna do is reset the meter first. And what I want you to observe is what I'm gonna do with the discharge uh, pressure, okay? I wanna get to about 150 before I open my discharge. But when I start opening the discharge, I wanna stay above. So when I start opening the discharge, you're gonna see the pressure start falling. So I want to be faster in the recirculator to bring it back up because I want to stay on top. So if I see that I'm dropping too much pressure, then I kind of slow down on the discharge and speed up on the recirculator. So the whole point is to keep going up until your recirculator is completely closed. You could, once you get it going, you don't have to have the discharge completely open as long as the liquid has a place to go. So for instance, if you turn it a couple of times, you know, and you see that your pressure start dropping, you can stop it and just keep on closing on your recirculator because now you have a place for your liquid to go. Now, if the discharge was closed, it would shut everything off. It would just make this light noise and loose prime on the pump and shut everything off. So I want you to look at what I'm doing on the hand and look at that, at the pressure, what it's doing. So, the longest, the longer that the recirculator is open, the faster you lose prime. So the key is to open up the pressure builder three or four turns, so that way as you're doing that, your pressure st uh, is trying to build rather than lose, lose prime or, or lose your pressure. So you always want to do, I'll start, I like to start by opening up my, my pressure filter. <laughs> Come on. 
Tablet, disengage the PTO, and then we'll take care of it. So we don't need a, 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 a picture of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off, reset it, turn it off, close my valve, and then disconnect.
customer first because it's real easy to con uh, lost, lose focus while you're over here and then forget something else. So we want to make sure once we disconnect, we take care of the customer. Make sure every, every value you touch is closed. Lock them up and then come take care of your trailer. And then from here just go. So now what we got to do now that we're closed is close your recirculator, right? Uh, bend the pressure down to 15 before we take off. And then the last thing we want to do is close it, uh, open the rope out and that order. Okay.